In this video, we will discuss about step response of RL circuit where we consider two different switches and they close at different point of time. Okay, and how S1 closed at 0 second, it means at T S1 is closed, and at that time the 6 ampere is going into the circuit. And before T equal to 0, which means T less than 0 the switch is open so there is no source added to the circuit so this is a step response of a circuit okay and another case switch 2 closes at 2 seconds after 2 second delay the switch 2 is closed and we want to calculate what is i of t and it is uh, a decaying condition also and you know that this is a step response because at t equal to 0 a source is added into the circuit Okay, so step response formula must be used here that is V of infinity plus V of 0 minus V of infinity to e power minus T by tau. For that we want to find what is the initial condition. So initial condition means T less than 0 before the switch closed how the circuit looks like. So T less than 0 means switch is open right. Then what will happen this portion will not be there similarly this switch is also open. We will get only the branch of 10, 20 and 5 Henry. 10, 20 and 500. It means nothing is there, right? No source, no current source, nothing appeared here. Only resistors and inductor combination. So the initial current flowing through the inductor is just zero. And second case, T first switch closes at T equal to zero condition. So what will happen? At T equal to zero, switch one alone closed. Switch two is still open. So if it is closed, then we'll get the entire circuit from here to here okay after closing the switch this is the circuit we have got and we want to find out i of t for t equal to 0 so how do you calculate you can use any method i have used current division rule here so this is one branch and this is another branch this is one branch this is another branch and i want to know i of t since these two are in series combination i of t here as well as i of t in the beginning both are same value so i'm going to use current division rule here so according to current division rule we need to take the actual current 6 into opposite resistance is 15 divided by total resistance total resistance is 10 plus 20 plus 15 it is 45 by cancelling you'll get 2 ampere i of t okay and then we need to find out time constant tau to get time constant tau we want to find out the equivalent resistance value by opening the current source so once you open this you will get only these three resistors they are in series combination at the location of inductor so 15 plus 20 plus 10 which is equal to 45 and to calculate time constant tau the formula is l by r equivalent l value is 5 which is given in the problem divided by the resistance equivalent value which is 45 and the corresponding value is 0.111 okay and we want to apply these values in i of t formula and i of infinity that is what we have got here 2 ampere and initial value is 0 for this case and i of infinity is again 2 e power t minus t by 0.111 okay and if you convert this 1 by 0 0.111 you will get approximately or closely equal to 9 and then rearrange this which is 2 minus 2 into e power minus 90 and i of t is equal to 2 into 1 minus e power minus 90 if this is the value or how the decaying response in the circuit for t equal to 0 seconds and after 2 seconds later which means after 2 seconds delay switch 2 is closed which means t minus 2 is equal to what that is what we are going to find out and so at t equal to 2 seconds switch 1 is already closed here at t equal to 0 and switch 2 is now closed at t equal to 2 seconds now what will happen and as we already discussed in the uh, previous video that whenever we have a short circuit and resistance are parallel then the resistance value is invariant okay because current will flow through only the short circuit area so this resistance is invalid resistance so we are going to remove this instead of this we are going to have a short circuit path to the i of t okay so the 10 is here and the 20 is removed and 6 
15 and i of t. We are going to find out what is i of t now. And again current division rule is easy. So total current 6, opposite resistance 15, divided by total resistance is addition of 10 plus 15 which is equal to 25. And the calculation will lead to 3.6 ampere. And tau value we want to calculate L by R equivalent. R equivalent is you need to open circuit this and calculate the remaining resistance. They are in series 10 plus 15. You will get 25. And L value is 5 divided by 25 is equal to 0 0.2 is a time constant. Now just apply these values in the final equation. I of infinity is 3.6. I of 0. So for this case I of 0 is the initial voltage what we have got in the in this particular location which means at t equal to 0 it is the initial condition because at t equal to 0 the source is added suddenly and after adding the source what would happen so the circuit uh, starts to behave differently after adding the source so this must be the initial condition for the remaining portion which means t greater than or equal to 0 this is assumed as a initial condition okay so initially we have 2 ampere when the source is suddenly added at t equal to 0 so we are going to take that value i of 0 is equal to 2 minus i of infinity is 3.6 and e power minus t by tau and since it is um, 2 seconds later the t can be replaced with t minus 2 divided by tau value is 0.2 and subtract this and rearrange the equation and bring 0.2 to the numerator side this will be 5 ok so i of t final i of t is equal to 3.6 minus 1.6 into e power minus 5 t minus 2 this is for t greater than or equal to 0 ok that's all so final uh, values are t less than 0 the answer is 0 in the beginning for t less than 0 answer is 0 at t equal to 0 the value is 2 into 1 minus e power minus 90 and after 2 seconds this is the response ok so whether it is a single switch or double switch still we can uh, do analysis like this so this is a sample a practice problem in Charles Alexander book where there is no solution in the book so this is the solution for the given problem